Do human beings have free will? Can you change the laws of physics? No. Can you alter the past? Not, no. Then no, no one has free will. I don't think I follow. Okay, I'll explain this to you. But only because I didn't get to be there to see the look on your face when you found out there's no Santa. Oh, too soon. It really shouldn't be. But anyway, it's kind of like interstellar, right? Okay, something can only exist if it exists in a dimension that we can perceive. You got the first three plus time or duration. <laughs> of which Interstellar had a little too much, huh? What, depth? No, duration. Obviously it wasn't depth, man, because it's a movie. The screen's like this big. Okay, so you remember the Tesseract thing? Yes, I do. That was the fifth dimension. Meaning that while you're there, Time looks like length or width does to us here in the fourth dimension. McConaughey can look at any point in time just by turning his head, like you can look at any point on a globe. By turning it! Exactly. He's like a time turner, but not the one we're thinking of. So time is like a flat circle! Not at all! The point being that if you believe that it's even possible to predict the future in that concrete way, to like look ahead, yeah. then there can't be free will. Because if you had free will, you could do things that would change it. So predicting the future precludes free will and vice versa. Unless every choice you make splits you off into another timeline or changes your memory. Like a globe that you're looking at that changes based on stuff or... No, no, like Marty. Marty in the photograph and Back to the Future. That's better. Forget the globe thing. Right, but that still doesn't give you free will. From your point of view, all you have is the steady march of time and events happening around you. But I help pick what series of events happen or what timelines I end up creating. The laws of physics aren't by definition all there is to cause and effect. I control things too. Check this out. Huh. There's no way the universe wants this to be happening right now. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So sure, someone could shock my brain, make me dance. But that doesn't mean that I can't also choose to dance. So maybe there's physics and free will working together. But if you can't change the laws of physics and you can't alter the past, what is the present if not the result of those laws acting on the past? So what are you left with? Not free will. It's the reason Dr. Manhattan says, I was surprised because I had foreseen that I would be surprised in uh, Watchmen. Everything is preordained even my responses. Or, arguably, even a more relevant cultural touchstone, it's kind of God's whole deal, right? Either you believe that God is omniscient and can see everything that you're gonna do for the rest of your life, in which case you have no free will, or you do and you can do whatever you want, in which case God can't foresee that. So, do you know what I'm gonna do before I do it? Yes. What if I do something different? then I don't know that. You can't have both. Sure I can. How? I don't know. Give me a second, I'll figure it out. Even if quantum physics implies that the universe is inherently built on randomness, that just means you can't predict outcomes. It still doesn't mean that you affect mm. them. Boom! Kicking no. you while you're down! I said hold on. You can't just shoot down an argument I haven't made yet. Michael. Sure I can. It is my destiny. Look, I'm not saying that I take it entirely on faith, but you can't instantly deny the things that you perceive directly. Isn't that like the whole thing with science? I feel myself making choices constantly. I regret my mistakes, and I see other people exercising their free will. No, man, you're not. Look at your liver, right? Look at it. It's magic, you know? It's, it's a regenerating, automatic organic filtration system that you could not possibly build yourself. Right, but that's just evolution. Or God, which you're saying precludes free will, so let's just go with uh, evolution. So, if you buy evolution, then it shouldn't be that hard to understand how something as miraculous as the feeling that we call free will could have developed out of basically nothing. Sure, it's a complex system, but so is your liver. And that came into being just because the chemistry kit that is Earth plus millions of years equals magic. The rise of the liver as an organ is entirely reactionary and more importantly, predictable, like you. Right, but you're saying that my whole identity rose out of that. Everyone's. The evolution of physical forms, it's the same with consciousness, right? At first, there were just amoebas with basic instinct, then there were small animals, and then finally, humans. This new thing that could imagine future hypothetical situations and remember the past and think sunsets are pretty and that plates with celebrity faces on them are worth more than those without. 
We have this brain is constantly weighing a thousand variables and recalling your belief system, your relationships, your philosophy, and then sending out signals and telling your muscles what to do next. But that's so blah. It's just a big, complicated prioritizing machine. Yeah, and we're just along for the ride, going, hoo hoo look what I did. I meant to do that. I'm so godlike. Neuroscience backs me up on that, by the way. I mean, cause and effect has existed a lot longer than life has in the universe. Why do we think there's some mystical variable that came around right when we did? It's an unnecessary piece. Everything in the universe works fine without free will. Yeah. So it's really on you to prove me wrong. You're the one saying that there's this extra thing called free will that we have to account for even though we can explain pretty much everything pretty well without it. It's like we're working on a piece of Ikea furniture together and we're already done and you just keep shoveling dowels at me. Ha! That's it! That's the face! Man, you really made me work for it. What crawled off your butt and died today? I'm gonna be honest. They moved the recycling bins all the way down the hall and my trash can's right here, so... Lately I'm feeling like, what's the point, you know? Oh! I see what this is. I see what's happening. You're just pushing predeterminism because you don't want to take responsibility for your actions. Surely you concede that if I am not a responsible steward of the Earth, it is only because I was born to destroy it. This right here is the problem with the whole universe is a bunch of rocks theory. We agree that it is impossible to prove one way or the other. Yet I choose to believe that I have control over my life. Responsibility for my actions, good or bad. And you know what? That's gonna be good for me because it's gonna make me a better person. It's gonna make me a better member of society. So you can sit there and you can argue that free will doesn't exist all you want, but if that's true, then how come I am choosing to believe in it? Because you're predetermined to. It's like this whole argument. Then why are we even back? <laughs> no. Fine, fine, fine. You know what? I'll compromise, all right? There's probably no such thing as free will, and even if there is, it's just sharing space with laws of physics in regards to cause and effect. But if in any alternate timeline it would be helpful to act as if we had it, then sure, I guess it's good to choose to have free will or believe that you are predetermined to believe that you have free will, respectively. Deal, I think. Good, great. Philosophy done. Oh, is that what this was? Oh, <laughs> ew, I don't like it at all. Yeah, it's mostly nonsense. Oh. Hey, thanks for watching guys. You got a lot of choices on the internet and I'm so glad you chose us. Take it out with some breakdancing. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comment section.